Hello and welcome to Staying Up with Cami and Taryn. I'm Cami. And I'm Taryn. And every night we get to have a sleepover, except for last night. I was at my parents'. <gasps> oh, God, uh, that was sad. But every week we invite you to join us. Yeah. So thanks for staying up. And tonight I will invite you to join me. What? In bed. Oh, invite because me. You- <laughs> oh, I was like, me. Bro. <laughs> no, that was so sad. You know what, though? And Reggie didn't sleep in bed with me, just Frank did, which I don't know if you guys can see. He's literally sat right to the side of the bed, staring at me, begging to come up here. Because he missed his mommy last night. Yeah, well, he's baby. Um, hello, Stay. peepees. Happy February 7th. <laughs> Holy crap. I know. I was thinking about that today. I was thinking Whoa. about something that I've like done for most of January. And I was like, oh my God, a month. That's I, crazy. I was at my doctor this morning and she was like, when did your like phlegm situation start? And I was like, I think like right around New Year's. And I was like, hmm. a month ago? Like that's a long ass time a month and to a week be phlegmy. Ago. Yeah, it is. But apparently everyone's flummy. So if you're flummy too, you're not alone. Yeah, my doctor said that now after people are sick or have a cold, they like stay kind of sick for a while. It's like a long cold. Yeah, it's awful. What I was thinking though, while we were apart, is that... How much you missed me. Of course. Yes. Oh, I was telling you all about that. I know. I'm <laughs> kidding. Uh, we did play pool, our little pool. Yeah. I message game. And yeah. that felt like we were hanging out. It, it did feel like we were hanging out. And it's so funny to think like... We spend most days together, but when I'm home alone, I'm like, I don't do what we do when we're here together. I'm like, what do I do? What do I'm you mean? Like, I'm lost. I'm a lost little puppy. No, you like, you took a big bath. Yeah, but I like literally wanted to demolish and rebuild our home. Like, I can't be here alone. <laughs> demolish and rebuild. But anyways, what were you thinking about? I was just we saying that when we weren't together I was having all these thoughts, which I have prepared for you today. (laughs) And it's so like, I feel like the night before we record, I should go stay at my parents. Oh, yeah. Which is terrible. So we can just like, because I don't know every week that's not happening. I know. But just like, because at night going to bed alone is like when your thoughts are rearing and normally we get to talk about it. I know. I was like, I had all these things and then I like had all these experiences without you, which is rare for some. So rare. It's so (laughs) stupid. Like we really do spend. (gasps) Look at Frank. I'm so sorry to cut you off. No. But (laughs) we have a comforter on the floor right now that needs to go in the wash next. And Frank just here, you know what? I'm going to take a picture. It will be on our story. on On the Instagram. Oh. You know what I hate when people say Insta? Who says Insta? Or like, I do mean, you want to be in charge of IG? We put that up on the Insta. Is it? That's corporate world. No one else is yes. saying that. I'm like, that is your I'm work, like, honey. Um, but anyway, so now I have all these little things. and Yeah. Can I tell you my first thing? Please do. I can't <laughs> wait to hear it. <laughs> Smallest thing. I'm so nervous. the reason I stayed at my parents is because um, I had two doctor's appointments. I had a dentist appointment and then a regular doctor appointment she is on her appointment game (laughs) and i was at the dentist and i was laying there like you know how you're like laying. why are your arm like why are you just the fetal (laughs) position i was laying on my back and i felt my body like you know you're like opening your mouth and so vulnerable whatever and i felt my body and realized that i was completely clenching my hands together yeah completely yeah like I was sat there like as if I was getting like a shot or something you're like I was like this <laughs> uh. your muscles hurt after and then I was like okay and then I would relax and I'd be like that's so weird that I'm just doing that and not noticing yeah and then two minutes later I would remember and be doing and it I would again be clenched again yeah and do I you just, only do that at the dentist like I'm not sure getting a facial anytime you're like laid out tummy up on a table i feel like it's just it's like dogs you know that they're comfortable around you whenever they show you their tummy because yeah. it's you could kill them maybe it's that instinct for us that we're like you could kill me right now i so we're a little know clenched. but it just made me think like keep an eye out on me for <laughs> for if if you notice that i'm like clenching or you know i touch my face a lot or yeah. even like my jaw i mean yeah. cl- i clench or my niece always does mm-hmm. this with her eyes. She's like, she's all squinting, watching and things. Yeah. Things with her you eyes. You do that squint. a lot too. I know. And I'm like, I'm giving myself wrinkles. I'm stressing <laughs> my body out. I'm raising my cortisol. Yeah. I just, you know what? This is actually perfect for you. I saw a TikTok last night Tell me. of this meditation person. I don't know. I See, had look, never seen them before. TikToks. 
Because we're not oh together. God. We're doing different things. I hope I saved it. Yes, I did. Okay. It's feel more human in 30 seconds. Should we do it? <laughs> feel more <laughs> should we all? Should we all do it? Yeah, let's try it. People okay. Gather around. Hold on, oh, no, wait. Okay, listen. Clench your jaw. Relax your shoulders. Remove your tongue from the roof of your mouth. And gently rest it back on the roof of your mouth. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And as you sigh it out, feel your shoulders fall away from the ears. <laughs> One more just like that. In through the nose. Fill your body all the way up and hold your breath at the top. I can't breathe. Mm -mm. And sigh it out. <sighs> the shoulders come away from the ears. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> Honey, what was you were like us? <laughs> they said to take your tongue off the mouth, your roof of your and mouth, and then put it back. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot. Turns out they're like, ah. I, did, I, did, I did feel relaxed, but it's crazy. That time I did it, I felt already kind of loosey goosey and fine. But last night when I did it, I whenever she was like, relax your shoulders, I didn't realize that my like jaw was. I was like, <laughs> and then I was like, oh my Dude. god, shake it out, baby. So now I'm just like really wanting us to pay attention to each other's like how we're being bodily, how we're being in our bodies. Okay, I don't want that back. Okay, first of all, okay, <laughs> I'm good. I don't want you to be like, hey, you're doing this. Like okay. that will drive me crazy. However, you already do it with me. I though. do do it with you, and you don't typically like it. So I'm curious. You specifically talk about me picking my face, which I know because that I did mention. you had asked about it. I do know You were that. like, oh, I'm, you, you like pull at your skin on your jawline. You'll like yank it. And I'm like, don't do that. Or like, don't yeah. pick your, because you'll be like, I don't know why my face is bleeding. And I'm like, well, you just like <laughs> picked at it like crazy. Yeah. I just am. I have a lot of energy. Yeah. A lot of energy. I should have <laughs> so much energy coursing through my veins. Which is actually proven by my hormone test that I went over yeah. today with my doctor. My cortisol peaks at noon. Yeah. E. I know. Is it supposed to get lower throughout the day? Yeah. What's, that's Your normal? Like you're supposed to wake up with the most. Normally peaks in the morning. Yeah. Most people are more anxious in the morning. And, and then, then you like every chill. Every day. Or every and like midday you're like. <laughs> mine, <laughs> mine goes like this. So what does that mean? That I am anxious i get anxious the longer the day goes on oh which is really the more i live the more i'm anxious. <laughs> literally that like oh the further the day the more my anxiety goes up that's tough but i don't actually so i was saying i feel really tired more than anything like yeah. i'm feeling fatigue i'm not feeling like wired yeah and she's like yeah but your anxiety response might be to get sleep to get sleepy yeah which I also feel like I anxiety yawn a say. lot and I've never really noticed it in you. But now that I'm thinking about it and you'll say like, I don't know why I'm yawning. Sorry. Yes. And like, you're like, I'm not sleepy. And you'll just be yawning. I know. And it's probably that. So isn't that sad? My cortisol is just like freaking out. So what do you do for that? Do you take something? I'm taking a pill called cortisol manager. Mm -hmm. And then obviously got to like yoga and probably stuff like that oh, yeah i need to be working out. out she asked me I'll how much send i'm you working that out and meditation I like, you're like am i yeah i know i was thinking about that last night too that i almost booked a boxing class this morning but then i was like i don't i'm not gonna have time before you get back and all that so before i get back what do you mean you well i wanted to like me? clean up a little bit and yeah i had to be yeah. ready to record the podcast we were um, like we're doing it right when you get back i love you did you like your little night alone um not really oh. honestly <laughs> I think because I, once I want to do something, mm -hmm. I got to do it right then and there. Mm -hmm. And I'm not a DIY girly, mm -hmm. but I am a, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not a DIY girly. What makes you not a DIY girly? Let you me tell that. you. Okay. <laughs> I am just a, like, I need instant gratification. I want it done right now. Yeah. So I will just do it myself rather than like having to call the professionals to come do it book a thing mm -hmm. I don't it takes like months to get any little thing done I get that so I think I'm self-sufficient okay I think I'll figure something out mm -hmm. but I don't think I have the patience to be a DIY girly I'm not like to properly execute it what do you mean every I feel like you <sighs> are that like you are just mm -hmm. like no let me fix it let me do it let me make it 
So when have I ever made anything? I'm a you buyer. You made our bathroom look good. When I was gone for a day, it looks like a completely different thing. Yeah, yeah, but that's just the, I want this done and I want it done now and I'm not going to be able to relax or stop thinking about it and, or think about anything else until it's done. So did you do it yourself? Yeah, but I'm not a DIY. Like I am a do it myself because I I don't want to wait for somebody else to do it kind of girl. Not like that's I was watching it. DIY videos and people are so meticulous. They're so cool. They're like using table saws. Maybe I'm not a DIY girly because I don't have the skill set, but I also don't want to take the time to learn it. I'm like a lazy DIY girl. You're small scale. You're you're an indie DIYer. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you're you're self published. I wanted to DIY. be a hip hop DIY girl. Yeah, so you, now I'm <laughs> I think you do. You do. You need to give yourself more credit. You do a lot. Like your dad is a DIYer, but he goes into big projects and, and like big he's things. so meticulous. Like I think everyone's wrong. I was even I was talking to him yesterday, and the a couple of days ago when I was talking to him, he was like, "Oh, I know you'll figure it out. You'll do, you'll educate yourself on it. You'll figure it out." And I'm like, I don't think anyone knows me. I think I'm putting on a front because mm-hmm. I will You're not. A good liar. So I've learned throughout <laughs> our not our whoa whoa. No, sorry. I mean, as we've been together longer, I'm good at more- lying during games. Whenever oh, that is the objective of the game. Yeah, yeah. Let's, you are good at that. Let's take that back. And when we watch something, I'm like that. I'm I'm smart. I'd be a good criminal, but my morals <laughs> would get in the way. Yeah. Um, You're really good at sussing out other liars. Yes. Too. Um, yeah. But I just like, I'm not taking the time to do it perfectly right. I just want stuff done. I'm too impatient to be a good DIYer. Mm-hmm. Like I'll watch videos and they're like, this took five weeks. And I'm like, no, five minutes or under and or I'm not doing it. Okay. I hear you. Yeah. I think you don't give yourself enough credit. That's sweet, but. It's fine. I think I do. Okay. <laughs> but I just, yesterday was like, okay, I want to paint the bathroom. But in order to paint the bathroom, I have to figure out the electrical because we might move a light. And since I don't know how to do that, I couldn't paint yet because I'd have to patch the hole and move all this. So I was like, I can't get anything done. And that had me anxious all night. Yeah. I was like, nothing's getting finished and I'm pissed off. So then I... It's like waiting for a delivery. Yeah. So I ran to the store. I bought a few things. I stopped myself from buying things that were like not the exact thing I wanted because I knew I'd just buy a new thing besides the shower curtains. I don't think I'm keeping those, but I needed them. I love them. I don't know that I want just like white, but... I think it looks really dreamy in there. Okay, good. So yeah, and I'm like, I need to sew these. Is that ever going to happen? But I had to get something done and I yeah. am I am happy that it looks a little different. Let me wipe my sweaty palm off and give me a handshake, honey. Why are we so sweaty? It's when I hold this microphone. Remember what happened last, a couple episodes ago? You know what? Cortisol. People keep telling me, not people keep telling me, one person commented on the YouTube video and said, I hold the mic like a Barbie hand. <laughs> and I, I just looked at it and maybe that's why I don't like to grip it because I don't like the way it feels. And I'm so afraid to hit the off button mm-hmm. that I hold it with closed fingers like they're glued together and it's the tips of my fingers I'll and the tips of my thumb. No, no, close it. Don't do an okay. That's going to start hurting. This. I hold the mic like this. This feels like we're cosplaying podcasters. And this is how I hold it probably most of the time. I would bet if you would watch videos back. Okay. I'll is try. how I naturally now hold it. I don't know if it was ever a thought. Or like Your sometimes little I'll do fingers this a little are bit. so cutie. <laughs> Look at them. Aw. Aw. But yeah, I never like to grip it. Okay. Yeah, that's why I, I get sweaty. Still, always feels uncomfortable. And I'm like trying to be delicate with it so I don't fuck it up. You know what? I have a newfound insecurity about. What? My fingers. Why? My I nails. love your hands. No, like they're not cute. You pick around your fingernails, honey. I'm just picking everything. You gotta stop picking. I? That's what you're not liking because you have great hands. Yeah. I mean, like if you want, just clean up your nail beds. That's not a big deal. I gotta do my nail beds. I need to do mine too. We'll do them later today. Um. Okay. But you have great hands. Thanks, what are you talking about? I don't know. I love your hands. Um, I think that as part of staying up, we should be staying up with pop culture. And so today I'd like to talk about a few Hell things yes. that I have thought of recently okay. or observed. Oh, recently. me too. Okay. Would you like to start? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Neither do I. <laughs> well, so, bye guys. Nice um, Jacob Lordy, I learned more about I'm it. I'm not talking about that. Did you? Oh, you know what? 
I did learn more about it Dang too. Dang it. I watched a few. Well, I don't know if I learned what you learned. Okay. I wanted to know more. I don't feel like I really learned a whole lot more, okay. but more since we were first talking about it. I know everything about oh this. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Lay it, it out. Uh, PPs, if you haven't seen, Jacob Lordy was under fire wrongfully. The people's baby girl. I will say. Um, all these articles came out saying like, oh, Jacob Lordy. Oh, you're claiming wrongfully. I'm 90% on his side. Okay, And cool. get where he's coming from. Okay, let's go. I let's think he was go. harassed first. Is okay. What I'm getting at. I agree from what I know. There was some um, headlines that were like, oh, Jacob Elordi. Pol- under police investigation. Uh, uh, yes, under police investigation for um, aggressive assault or yeah, something it, like Yeah, something that. along those lines. Um, okay, so what happened was Jacob Elordi mm-hmm. was at a local beer garden in Australia of course he was he's so cool (laughs) and that's it (laughs) thanks for listening what was he wearing i don't know probably so hot stuff so hot stuff (laughs) and so he's at a beer garden sat there like with his long legs i know and he probably cigarette does he smoke just for me in this moment in my head i don't want him to smoke i don't either i want him to have a cigarette (laughs) unlit (laughs) the metaphor yeah behind the ear okay go ahead um so he's at this beer garden mm-hmm. and a producer of Kiss FM Australia yeah. knows that he's at this place. I okay. don't know if he saw on Instagram or whatever. Mm. So he goes Stalking there him. to record him, he, oh. which no. is ridiculous. Go away. Leave he goes alone. there, walks up to him and his friends mm-hmm. and hands him a little bathtub toy that says Jacob's bathwater mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, I think it says Jacob's Bathwater or something. And he's like, oh, this is a gift for a girl that we work with that's on Kiss FM, like one okay. of the co-hosts or whatever. Yeah. And he's like, Jacob's like, oh, haha, okay. And then he's like, what am I supposed to do with it? And then he realizes, obviously, the guy is like insinuating, like, fill it up. I think up. the guy says it. He's like, yeah. you can mail it back to us. Yeah, like fill it up with your shit. Yeah. And then send it back to us, which is disgusting that's disgusting like that's a this was a movie scene this is not like it's a it's a little too far and so jacob's like and he's filming the whole thing while yeah he's trying to do a little bit he thinks it's gonna be funny jacob's gonna be like oh my god okay and jacob's like get out of here man Mm -hmm. he like kind of gets up and he's like get out of here and then jacob's friends are like they all kind of join in and he's like delete the video let Mm -hmm. me go go into your deleted right now and let me make sure that you deleted it and the guy's like no i'm not gonna like no and then he won't delete it he says he deleted it but he won't confirm by going into his deleted that okay, it is I didn't see that totally part. gone yeah yeah and then jacob pushes him against a wall and apparently quote unquote has, jealous i know i know <laughs> and apparently you're about to get real fucking jealous has his hand it's so inappropriate to around feel- the guy's neck oh that's too far i'm like yeah being silly and goofy i'm like whoa it's but like context matters right? but <laughs> context deeply are matters we here, here or did are we, we consent to this <laughs> yeah. um that's intense i don't understand why that was such a big reaction people are all was like drunk i don't Not know that, that makes it better or worse a beer garden. But yeah but he's at a thing with his friends and this guy is like not yeah. only coming into his space yeah but then is making like a weird sexual joke yeah at him being like send me your sperm for a gift yeah disgusting it's i was weird. thinking it was just the bath water but, but the yeah, bath water is good because it had its sperm yeah his yeah. sperm yeah okay so um anyway, i just thought i'm totally on his side you get like the press can't just like antagonize people and expect, yeah i mean obviously you shouldn't like hit him yeah you shouldn't there's no reason to get aggressive yeah especially like jacob already is so fucking tall that would be really intimidating that's what the guy said he was scared yeah i i so get count your blessings loser oh i thought you were saying he said that i was like that is so cool he did not say that to him <laughs> you thought jacob said it to him count, count your, your blessings, blessings loser <laughs> i'd be like no. thank you jesus <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm imagining my feet dangling, <laughs> he's, and he's like this, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> about that bath water. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like you don't need to be harassing people. Yeah. And if somebody asks you to delete a video, just fucking delete the video yeah, and go there. about your day. Jacob already shouldn't have like touched him. Okay. Is there is that proven that he did do that? Is that I know there's audio of it. But there's audio, but I have no visual proof mm. there's audio like it sounds like a buy it on pornhub 
<laughs> oh my god! Can you buy things on Speaking Pornhub? of Pornhub, hit me. Did you hear about Drake's leaked? Okay, video? I, saw, I saw like a leaked dick thing, but I don't know what it was. It was a leaked dick thing. Did, did you see it? I did see it. Kimmy, it's not. Did you see it on Twitter? Yeah, I Twitter's didn't even mean crazy. to. Oh, shut up! I didn't. I didn't even mean to. What it looked like? I heard what about it, it, and I had wondered, and I was like, ah, oh, I'm like, where are people seeing this? And then I was on Twitter because we were talking about how I never go on Twitter, and I saw it. Did he leak it? Probably because it's very in his favor so he's like lying on a bed there must be a mirror or something he's like filming and he is fondling his limp balls <laughs> oh limp dick he's fondling it yeah it's probably like he's getting revved up i guess i don't know it's like not it's not hard <laughs> oh my god no why would but he release this oh cause it's, huge it's, oh like how big is he? So, so what I like first what I first saw was like a parody of it. Okay. And then I clicked on that because I was like, "What is this? this is oh, so you funny!" Being like it's accidental. You were click click. No, click. no, no. I was on Twitter and I saw a parody, but I didn't. I didn't know what the Drake video was. Okay. I thought it was a hot picture. Okay. I had only heard. Um, I think it was Teffy on TikTok. She was like, "I love." A hoochie man okay and like between bad buddy and drake this week blah 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 and i was like i keep hearing this drake thing so but then later on the next day i was on twitter and i saw a video of this guy and he, i think he had like a really long like sock that he was playing with insinuating that that was mm-hmm. what the video looked like which it does <laughs> do it with your fingers how long she's oh my god <laughs> no i don't i don't remember wait, wait where was the end this is one end. Like it was like, baby, it, it not looks hard. So, it was that big. I think so. I gotta find it for no, you. No, don't find it for me right now. I'm <laughs> nervous to it. see it. I think it was crazy. I was like, oh, what is that thing? Did he say like, oh no, please don't look at it, vibes? No, I have no context for it. Okay. I don't think so. I think he is thrilled about this being out. I don't think I've really seen a ween in years. I was shocked. I was like, what? You look like enchanted. No, no, no. It you was like, look like horrifying. You look like awake no, for no, the first time. No, terrified. Terrified. I was like, what is that thing? Poor girls that have to How put their How is he walking? On it. Oh, God, don't. I will throw up. Ugh. I can't think so about that. So big. That grossed me out. It's Beyond like, have belief. you ever. Like, Beyond belief. Like, okay, wait. <laughs> you know when you're holding a um, drumstick ice cream? <laughs> you with me? Sure. Even putting that thing around my mouth, even this microphone now that I look it's down at it. It's a little too close for I'm comfort. I'm a little bit like, I'm afraid. <laughs> if this comes at me a little quick, my tooth's gone. Why would it come at you quick? You're holding it. I don't know. Is okay. that what the boys are up to? It's a, not the microphone. Okay. Can I tell you a, a sweet man story that will get away to get us away from this? Yeah, please. Because I'm like going to vomit. Foot long ween. Edwina. Get out of here. Edwina. <laughs> um... <laughs> Okay, you know Joe Montana? Yeah. I saw a video of him. It's so cute. On the sideline. Mimicking the Drake video? <laughs> yeah, he was. it was so crazy. He was on his back. <gasps> Ew. I wonder how old Joe Montana is now, actually. I don't know. I want to see because I, so I looked, I saw this video of him when he was in the prime of his career, okay. which he was what? A quarterback for, I don't know. How old is he? Oh, the 49ers. Primarily with the 49ers. 67 okay wow so he's that old he's 67 when joe montana was playing games if he was on and he was on the sideline like within a changeover or something like that he would take the phone to like you know talk to the people up at the top or whatever but then he was like this is a regular phone and he would a bunch of times call his wife at home in the middle of a game so he cute. would ch- he was like what do you do to make a call like i think you click nine first and then whatever oh my god it could just call out to anybody y- he, yeah he's and like hey so babe she's like multiple times during games i would be at home watching games and then i would get a call and then i would answer the phone That's and then so joe would cute. be like hi babe what are you doing oh. and she's like baby you're playing a game right now he's like i know but i figure i could call you that is a definition of if he wanted to he would that is exactly what all the comments said anyone out there you like somebody and they're not calling, they're not texting. He called during a football game, and he's NFL the quarterback. football game. Isn't it just? He's like has very limited time, not in the game. I know. That is. I was so enchanted by that. So cute. Yeah. So. Wow. Thank you for Better that. Better than the Wayne story. We had a plethora of male stories today, where it was like, yeah, Jacob Lordy, 
kind of gray area what's going on we had some boy with boy stuff making me uncomfortable do we have girl Mont- stuff? i do have some girl Tell me. um potential end to drama oh okay so we all know that taylor swift mm-hmm. and olivia rodrigo potential drama there yeah I olivia really rodrigo it. was a massive massive taylor fan yeah. for was. so long yes okay, huge so. very vocal about it Really, really big fan. Mm-hmm. Then there was all the drama of her having to like give a percentage of her money from songs to both Paramore and Taylor Swift because they were too similar. They were deemed too similar. Mm-hmm. So, what song know, was similar to the Taylor song? That she I can't did? remember. But one of her songs was like a Taylor song. Yeah. Okay. I guess enough to legally be like they have to have the rights to it. Whatever. Okay. And apparently there was like a little bit of issues there and. I don't know. Maybe it was just one of those times where you shouldn't meet your hero. Yeah. They're not going to live up. And now you're also peers in this field where you have to kind of protect yourself. I don't know. We don't really know what happened, but there have been rumors that Olivia does not fuck with Taylor anymore. Okay. She's like, no, no, no. Okay. Then I remember I told you Olivia's face when Taylor mm-hmm. won album of the year. She's like made like a weird face, but it was. I think the last award of the night yeah, or so towards she, the end. Maybe she was tired. You've been there for over three hours. Yeah. You had a whole day getting ready. You also you're, lost. Yes. Yes. It's like you're also probably bummed. There was also Kelsey Ballerina. Ballerina. <laughs> Ballerini. <laughs> Kelsey Ballerini. Yeah. There's a clip of her when she loses and she's like smiling, but you can see the emotion behind uh, her. Yeah. Let people be bummed. Yes. They want to win too. They don't have to just be stoked for the person who won. Agreed. It's mixed feelings. Anyways, I saw a video where Olivia's performing, and you told me this originally, that Taylor's the only one dancing. Sweet. So sweet. But did you watch the end of the video? No. When Olivia finishes, everyone stands up, they're cheering, and I don't know who this is to, but from the angle it's filmed, it very much so looks like it's to Taylor. There's videos of Olivia blowing a kiss to somebody at the end, and she's like, and it looks like it's to Taylor. And oh. it kind of makes sense that it'd be like, thank you for standing and singing yeah, okay, yeah. and so they're, vibing they're out. Fine. I think so. I think we can put that drama to rest. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh. Bye bye. Six feet under. Six feet. We're back to six feet under. <laughs> We're back to Jacob. Back. Um, also about the Grammys. That's great, by the way. Isn't I like to hear sweet? that they're on good terms. I liked it because I think Taylor is so good at keeping things cordial, even if there was complete animosity between the two i don't think we would ever fully find out no because i think she only shares that through her music and through art and like for people who really deserve it like her beef with kanye and kim yeah but i really liked the way that she was like standing up for her even if there is beef i'm like even if it is calculated i liked it but now i think that we're all just reading into it too much you are sweaty sweaty hands I i do think we are reading i think but that's what she wants yeah that's what everyone they're like let people think we're feuding it's only gonna help us all and then we're all gonna listen to the music like 10 times harder to be like what yeah mean? yeah yeah I mean? yeah i think i hear taylor screaming in the background of olivia's song <laughs> um also about the grammys i think i have a hot take love to hear it love I your hot takes many people say that they liked when miley was performing flowers and then in the middle of her singing she looked out to everybody and said I, don't act like you guys don't know this song yeah because nobody was singing because nobody was singing yeah i don't i did not like that i have mixed feelings i didn't like it in the moment and i'm like back and forth i think that i thought okay maybe i came on too hot not liking it in the beginning because i started to see other people be like other people's opinions made you so doubt yourself cool that she did that and like oh she's so totally herself blah blah i'm like i think it's a little much yeah to it's the same thing that i hated about joe coy at the Emmys or whatever, where you're just like ripping on people for not responding to how you want them to yeah, respond. Yeah, it's a little weird. I think it maybe is a, a little bit better to be like a moment of like, come on, guys, let's dance or like sing with me or whatever. Which like those it's also cheesy. an award show. It's like people probably they're not, that's not really what's happening here no. much. Yeah, I, I I don't like the like I'm gonna make you all feel. I'm going to make you It's not going to make you want to get up to sing to everybody after else. I've been called out either. Yeah. Like you calling me out does not make me want to do the thing. I'm not like, okay, fine. I can buy my Yeah. Flowers. You're right. I do know it, Miley. <laughs> like what? She rem- she unlocked my memories yeah, all of a sudden like, and now I know it. Yeah. I'm like people, 
are sitting for a reason yeah not, i hear not that. that i agree yeah yeah i just find it a little like don't shit on people about it i 100 percent agree with you in that sense and i don't agree when people are like oh she's just being so herself i think miley yeah. in this stage of life has unlocked a new character i think she has like benjamin buttoned okay back to hannah montana okay because whenever she was listing all her idols she was like Jolly Parton, mm-hmm. Celine Dion, mm-hmm. Whitney Houston. I think there was Tina like Turner. Tina Turner. There was like six fe- female pop stars who are these diva characters. Yes, but we don't really know who they are. Yeah, especially Dolly Parton. Her we godmother. know them. You're just saying we. They're not. But we don't. We don't what do you mean? like. I don't think we genuinely know a lot of those people she listed. Maybe not all of them are like they have a character that they give to the world okay and then they are themselves and I kind of feel like after Miley stopped drinking stopped smoking isn't like this party animal I think whenever she did um bangers after bangers like that was her being like I'm leaning into who I want to be I'm mixing it up yeah now she's like I can totally be a caricature of a pop star yes and I think she like she did the big hair I think she was playing a character and that diva character would be like, you know, this fucking song that's fair. sing along and like her big movements. I think it was all part of this character. Even her being like, um, I didn't want to leave you, but I had to, I didn't want to fight, but we did. Like she was like ad living her own oh, song. I, didn't, I don't think I caught that. I, like, <laughs> she, I heard her be like, she was I, like, I didn't want to leave you, but I did. I oh. didn't want to fight, but we did or something like oh, that. Cute. And then she's like, Started to cry, but then remembered, I just won my first Grammy. I think That's she was, cute. I think it was a whole character and her She's doing very that little thing was. Sizey. Yeah. Wait. Also, I think it was a moment and I think I love, and she wore like eight different outfits. Yeah. It was, she was like, this is my fucking Joe. She was, she was happy. Yeah. It felt like she was happy. She, yeah. I said this to you during the show, but PPs, uh, for any friends crossover fans, it was her persona, Miley's persona. You said during, this during what? When we were watching it live. Oh. But I feel as if I should share it with the peepees. Got it. Which is that her persona, Miley's persona during the Grammys, was absolutely giving when Phoebe during Friends <laughs> thinks that the like old woman who died like like, possessed, her, possessed body. her body and she like randomly is saying all these like weird things she's like oh god my eyes and whatever it was I, like tina turner jumped into miley's body 100 she's, like, she's like all of a sudden she like had like, to style her hair big. yeah <laughs> it was so well i'm happy for her i just didn't like that yeah i think when you but if it was said as a character you I do love and i do too and i think the public loves like very genuine celebrities yeah however that's typically not even the case like people don't like taylor swift's outfits but then we're also all kind of like she's doing that to be Relatable. like us she's a billionaire she's, yeah. we we are we cannot relate to taylor swift but she wants speak to but she wants to be what i said speak for yourself it's oh just, they said speaking of soft I was like, what? speaking of drake soft no dick. no no no, no. <laughs> but it's like all of these celebrities are doing a, a bit basically yeah. even if it is genuine it typically is a bit planned out as well. So I'm like, I don't mind that she leaned into it so hard and it was so clear that it was a bit. I get That's that. what I liked. You know who's not doing a bit? Who? Lizzie Holmes. Elizabeth. She's doing time in the slammer. <laughs> Elizabeth Holmes. Yeah. Who, PBs you may know, I love and cherish <laughs> in a very r- roundabout way. <laughs> well, we just love we love a con. scams, yeah. cons. It's very enjoyable. I'm like more just fascinated by her than I do like her. Yeah. But she celebrated her 40th birthday and she's been in prison for nine months now. Oh my God. And two, Did she get to see her baby? She had her baby, right? So two updates. Oh, She God. has, she celebrated her 40th birthday with her husband and her kids. Came, she has multiple kids, I guess. Multiple? I know. I thought she only had one, but I think she had one before and then she was pregnant. Wait. When she got convicted again. I don't. I think. I did not know that. I thought she just was pregnant whenever she was going through the trial. So, and people were like, is this her doing a sympathy oh, card right is, now? This is now going to bother me. Let me just look really fast. Yeah. I desperately need to know how many kids she has because. Lizzie. Because she. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm so confused. If she had a second kid, it had to have happened in jail. <laughs> no, she has two kids. What? 
is there a quick synopsis of like the time? While line? Holmes was investigated and tried in the court of law, mm-hmm. she married William Billy Evans in 2019 and gave birth to their first child, a boy, in July 2021. Yes. When did Her, the second kid come? It just came when she was in jail. I know, but how'd she get pregnant again? Like she on trials pregnant gives birth and then right before going in she gets pregnant again her incarceration was delayed after the sentencing as holmes was pregnant with her second child she's like i'm just gonna keep having babies a girl who was born in february 2023 (gasps) okay what so that's crazy i love that she looks a little frazzled i would say now she looks like she's been in there for a while that's her in jail yeah. In a cashmere sweater? Well, it was her birthday. And so her husband so and she the got kids to wear a got to like outfit? come and they all played. Like in the back. But why is she in ca- a cashmere sweater? I don't know. Shouldn't she be in like... Because <laughs> she's Elizabeth fucking Holmes, founder yeah. of Theranos. Yeah. One true. drop of blood. Also, do you know who her bestie in jail is? Do Jen, you? Jen Shaw. Do you know anything about Jen Shaw? I know that she's also Kuka. Um, Wait, yeah. She's a scam artist a as well. Sweater, baby no go to the other picture i think you saw that's that's what she's wearing can in jail. you go to the last picture i don't know where it went but look how back. cute they are oh they're like at a park they're vibing they're i think they're like at a park inside of jail oh she's thriving she, and what? she looks kooky i mean she's in jail of course she looks kooky i think she looks fine okay um i think she looks better without her i wonder how she's speaking <gasps> in there i wonder if she's still doing the low voice oh my god I wonder if her neck is freezing. <gasps> she must be so cold. Someone get that girl a turtleneck. That neck hasn't seen the sun in 20 years. That's crazy. Um, I listened to, I didn't watch Jen Shaw, who is also in jail and is besties with Elizabeth Holmes, was on The Real Housewives. And she is also in jail for scamming and racketeering or whatever it's called nice i don't even know if that's what she's in jail for but i didn't watch the show so i listened to an episode of scam fluencers it is such a good podcast you absolutely should listen to it if you love a good scam it's a new scam every episode or they'll do like two parts it's so good it's so good um but they did one on jen shaw and you should listen to it because it's they something like she got arrested like on bravo the show they were they were going on a trip they're like about to go skiing in aspen or something and they're about to leave and then she's like i gotta go i'm obsessed with that the feds are at my house that's the coolest shit ever i'm like what are they gonna do when they get out of here what kind of con are they doing and how do i get in on it who would you want your prison friend to be oh my god gypsy rose would have been fun no i don't think we would have got on no but like for the vibe of it i think i would have been like i'm sus to her i'm not into her Wait, you want to hear something funny? Yeah. Um, the new Bachelor, who we oh, haven't watched. I, I really I watch almost it. watched it last night. Oh, I, but then I was like, Let's yeah. watch tonight. Okay. Um, no, we got to finish Love Island so we can get to Love Island Games. We have, guys, we got to go. We have a lot of reality TV Love to Island watch. Games, Love Island All-Stars. I don't care yeah, about Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't games. care about games. I mixed it up. Sorry. Um, The new Bachelor was shown a picture of Ruth, no, of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. <laughs> and he called her. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. He called her Ruth Bader Ginsburg. And then I was dying because R B G and Rips Rips Gypsy is G R R B. Yeah. R B G G R B. So whenever he started saying it, they're like, Do you know this woman? And they showed the picture of Gypsy Rose. And he's like, <laughs> Yeah, isn't that Ruth Bader Ginsburg? And I was like, This fucking idiot. And then whenever he, they and then he knew who she was, though. He yeah. like explained who. And then when they said Gypsy Rose Blanchard or whatever her yeah. last name is. I was like, that does sound similar. I get they're the same. I, I get how you can make three that part up. lady name. Yeah. Also, I feel like Gypsy Rose Blanchard and Ruth Bader Ginsburg are great answers for like a trivia. No, um, like if we were to play like the hat game or something, <gasps> like or celebrity or mm. one of those games. Gypsy Rose Blanchard is f- that's a fun one. That'll yeah. get people giggling. Yeah, but I, right now it's too too known people will remember it you gotta do like one that coasts under the radar i you know. know yeah so that's I've, a little i have one more update of celeb well, gossip two two things about justin bieber i want to share <laughs> three <laughs> while you're wearing your changes shirt yeah. one <laughs> is that on my drive here peepees from orange county to here i was like Every once in a while, I'm just giving you a little background music. Every Go once on. in a while, I play the Changes album front to back and just sing really loud. I, I never do it with you. 
to be honest why i think there's something so it it's like churchy for me not churchy like religious but churchy like i'm like true deep belting but why why can't we do it together i like my music louder than you do not whenever we're like singing along it can be really loud it's like when we're just sitting in the car and it's blaring it makes me anxious okay well you can be part of that one time okay thank but you. then i thought this is so embarrassing if someone drives by that's not embarrassing I'm, i love baby. seeing people sing when i drive no by. no look at my sweater that i'm wearing today yeah it's a changes. I don't think people would notice Bieber's that unless sweater. they're a massive fan too. Especially driving by the okay, side, you fair. can't see. And then, and then if they know it, that's cute. Okay. I don't think you have anything to be embarrassed about. That was number one about Justin Bieber. Number two about Justin Bieber <laughs> is that while it's I was becoming singing, like a Justin update podcast, I, while I was singing, the song "Yummy" came on. Classic. Mm. Mm. How would you sing to me the opening line of that song? Like if you were alone in your I car, don't, I don't remember how it started. I can only literally, think of the, yeah, you the got chorus, it. huh? Yeah, you got that. Just the regular. I thought it was girl, you got that, or whatever. Girl, you got that. Yeah. And then I yummy, think he changed it throughout. Yummy, but yummy. would you do anything different if you were in the car by yourself? Okay, so I, I think that's a, a thing that I don't even know. Okay. When I'm in the car, it's just like being in the shower. If music's a little too loud for you to hear your own voice, yeah. I am Justin Bieber then in that moment. Oh, I get that. I am SZA. Yeah. I am Beyonce. I'm whoever I'm listening to. I see that. So when I'm screaming and hearing their words back at me, I think that their voice is my voice. I hear that. So I'm not just like, girl, you got that. I'm like, I can't, I couldn't even show you right now because I, it has to be in that moment. Okay. It's just like when you're a kid and you do that and you think you sound so good. And then, and then you break out your phone and you record it and it's not good. And it's, or someone like, pauses the music for one second oof. and you're like, yeah. My brother used to do that on purpose. He would turn it down really quick. your brother had it out for you i know he really did um the reason i ask is because remember during the pandemic when justin was being crazy on instagram and he filmed himself like singing yummy but he was going yeah you got that yum and he was moving is that his what mouth. you were doing i was doing that yeah, by you myself got that yum. it was like okay honey that's scary if i drove by <laughs> that i'd be like this person has to get off the road they are not safe he to drive like eating something in the video do you he remember was just doing it? Some, yeah and he was like yum, he yum. like i think he for a long time especially during the pandemic wanted to see how gross out he could make people but that was so built into so now my you're head that i was doing that in the car by myself and i was like why am i doing this so intensely and then people like do that with their job when they're on drugs power of suggestion i think i think i just saw him doing it in my head and thought i missed i must do it also yeah anyway that's that would part that, two mm, okay and there's part three there's one more part <laughs> okay. to this uh justin looked so happy during all the all-star oh my god he looked so healthy hockey happy stuff vibing he's a big hockey boy he's big from canada we love this for him um regardless if you're a jb fan or not just google justin bieber all-star weekend and you will see the happiest man that has ever existed it's really he looks like a little kid he looks like a child it is so i cute. love when adults look like their child self yes and you know that they feel like their child self and he's like really yeah like the big yeah, teeth he's so really cute sweet. he was going yeah 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 <laughs> um but some guy during all of this so well, sorry during all-star weekend <laughs> justin played a little bit of hockey because yeah. it was like whatever it's like an all-star thing fun vibes and they get to like mm -hmm. play around mess around yeah there's and a celebrity on each team <clears throat> that's a good way to put it <laughs> i don't know what i said <laughs> but uh some guy on tiktok was like yeah there's actually two nhl teams that are looking to draft him is that true for a year contract they don't i can't be true whatever so i told my smarter best, than though everyone will come watch i know mm. i told my best guy friends this yeah because they're hockey boys they play, play on beer hockey. leagues whatever beer leagues they play on beer leagues i don't know what a beer league is oh uh, like a rec team like we're not that we're just drinking beers yeah out. it's called beer league <laughs> that's cute um and i told the boys that and they go not a chance there's not a chance i've seen justin skate anthony <gasps> is the same skill level as justin bieber that's what Tyler said. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I like, don't even know how to respond, right? Because I'm like, I don't know if that's good or bad. They're such haters if for he's that. If really good, if Justin's really bad, I don't know. But, but like, but, they've seen him where? Like, not in person. Well, you like, don't have to see someone in person to I know, know, but he, like, the, the all-star thing is, like, not 
like super legit. No one wants to get hurt during that. I so mean, they're not seeing pro- someone like he's playing with Sidney Crosby. But I'm sure he's pulling out all his stops. Yeah. But they're so like there's no way they're gonna do that. And if they do, it would he would never see the ice. I can yeah, I can see that. I'm like I'm not going if he's never gonna see. They the would ice. break. They would. It would be for publicity. When I first saw that too, I was like, not a chance. He hasn't really skated in like 15 years. Yeah. But. I, that video also said that he was almost drafted back then. Like yes. he is incredibly talented at yes. it, but um, like so much time has gone by. You're not training. No. You cannot compare to Sidney Crosby. That's not going to happen. No. But how smart to get him on any random team, even if they like just, he works out a deal where he plays like a game a season Yes, and they're just selling merch and stuff. I think it'd be smart. So if he plays, we are 100% going Duh. to every game until we see him play. <laughs> Whatever no. team it's for. We're moving to Canada <laughs> if it happens to be a Canadian team. Um, well, yeah, he kind of has to be the Maple Leafs. I Google, I was looking at the video that went viral of the guy saying that he's getting drafted yeah, or yeah. whatever. And the first comment on it was, not a chance. And I it, played. And it was your guy's friend. Your guy friend. <laughs> no. I played. It's Tony. I played Division Three beer leagues with him a few times. <gasps> with him? Yes. Wow. They're like, he is just like so yeah. average. There's yeah. not a chance an NHL team would take him. Yeah. And now I'm like, the boys were totally, that blew my mind that they were like, yeah, obviously this guy could be lying. But the fact that they were like, no, he's a beer league player. He's not even close. Well, it's like professional NHL hockey is so different. Yeah. And these, it's, you take these kids who have been doing it their whole lives, which sure Justin was. Yeah. But then he, he's almost 30 and he hasn't played at all that time. I'm like, there's no way he could survive against those guys. I'm so protective of him. Just let him play like one shift. Yeah. Let him go out there, squiggle around. Yeah. Um, speaking of viral content on okay. TikTok, okay. I want to talk about the drama that ensued last week of, the straight girl who went to Cubby yes. Hole, a lesbian bar in New York, mm-hmm. with her lesbian friend, and then had a straight male friend meet them mm-hmm. and got in an altercation. Yes. So, do you want to give a quick synopsis you give of a any? Quick okay. So, basically, this video goes viral. This straight girl is talking about how she had a weird interaction at Cubby Hole in New York, one of the very few lesbian bars in New York or in the country for that matter um she goes and we get both sides of the story we get her side of the story well i guess not both sides because we haven't heard from the guy that it's actually about yeah we are her side and then we hear from the lesbian woman who was there and had the altercation so basically this girl goes she's meeting she's going with her lesbian friend and their straight friend comes and meets them for a couple minutes he is waiting in line at the bathroom and from the lesbian's perspective she says i'm waiting in line and there's this guy in front of me who's in the way of the bathroom cubby holes really it's cubby hole it's so little mm. so there's not a lot that. of there's but like it's called cubby hole you know <laughs> cute um it's super super tiny so she's trying to get to the bathroom so she taps him on the shoulder and is like hey man you're kind of in the way like are are you going to the bathroom like what's going on whatever and she says he seems grumpy. We don't get details on what that means or what he has said to have her say that, but he's grumpy. So then she says like, okay, like who are you even here with? Like why are, what are you doing here? Because it has been an issue, she says, of straight men coming to places like Stonewall and Cubby Hole and trying to hit on girls and causing problems. I've experienced this at lesbian bars too. It's really frustrating. So she feels protective of the space. She has been coming there for eight years. She met her wife there. It's like a sacred place to her as lesbian bars are to so many of us because we just don't have them. So he's like, oh, I'm with her. Points to a girl who appears to be queer, not the girl who originally made the video. And she's like, okay, cool. Then time goes by. She lets it go. Everything, everyone's fine. He comes back up to her and is like, if I wasn't with a lesbian, would that be a problem? And she's like, yeah, it Mm -hmm. would actually like, this is a lesbian bar. It is a space created for us by us (laughs) and within us. And you're like infringing on that. Like this is supposed to be a safe space for us. And I'm not feeling safe because you're here. Like you shouldn't be here. 
And if you are here, you should be here with somebody who is supposed to be here. And I guess a bunch of people kind of jump in. Some of his friends, it kind of sounds like some other people are like, that's messed up to say. Mm -hmm. Um, And then she says some other stuff happens, but doesn't go into details. So basically the girl who initially made the video, the friend of cis straight man is kind of like, are straight men not allowed to come? And I really did not like her attitude in the video. When she opens up the video, I almost stitched it and was going to be like, hey, I want to like respectfully talk about this. But she just gets such an attitude throughout the video that it like it pissed me off so far that I was like, I don't need to jump in on this trend. People do edit it and made great videos explaining it. Some people kind of just tearing her apart. Some people educating her. Um and I was like, I just don't need to jump in. But yeah. I, I think like it'd be a fun thing to kind of dissect and talk about on here. I'd love to hear from the PPs too. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on this situation and with straight people in general coming to lesbian bars? Um, I have many thoughts. <laughs> One thought that is kind of the loudest of the thoughts is that like it's really hard for me to figure out what the truth of that situation is because their accounts of the situation feel so different to me. And they're both quite vague, I will say. But they're also, I would be pissed if one person's was, if, if the first girl who's the straight girl, if that was the real story, I'd be like, that is a little annoying. You're right. But if the gay girl, that's the real story. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, yeah, absolutely agree with you. So Mm -hmm. it's like, I'm assuming it's gotta be somewhere in the middle, but it's hard for me to say like it just feels like two different realities to me okay because the way that the first girl describes it is like we were just hanging out and she comes up to him and is like why are you even here Mm. and I'm like that's a different energy yeah than him her saying she wasn't looking for confrontation she's standing waiting for the bathroom like yeah yeah so that's weird for me Mm -hmm. um in general I think if this situation I'm taking out whatever really happened in this situation and just thinking like, okay, I'm in a bar and there's a guy. Yeah. I personally don't feel less safe if he's with a group of other girls Mm -hmm. because I feel that they would. He's been like vetted. He's been vetted. Mm -hmm. Um, And to how it sounds on both of their stories is there was a straight girl, a lesbian girl, and him Mm -hmm. maybe other people too but so in my mind i'm like that doesn't make me feel less safe but i understand that that makes other people feel less safe just like the presence of a man i get that um but it's just hard for me personally because i have brought my straight friends Mm -hmm. to futch or to gay bars in weho Mm -hmm. or whatever and like it makes it safer for me too like not not safer it makes it like i don't know it's a, I'm proud to bring them there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, I'm like, you're like my wanting. Space. Yeah, you're wanting to share that with your friends. Yeah, I'm I like, don't look how think... cool this bar is, or look how cool this energy feels, or totally. like, and I'm excited to show them just as like people that I love and care about. Yeah, and I don't think there is anything wrong with that, and I don't think anyone speaking up about this is saying anything wrong is wrong yeah. with that, and that's why her first question was like, "Who are you even here with?" Like, yeah what like what is going on I don't like the attitude that you're coming I don't like the energy you're coming like I'm at a lesbian bar to not be around straight men right that's kind of the point point. and the first girl even says like there were so many very flamboyant gay men there and they weren't having any problems and it's like that's different I'm not expecting that this person is going to hit on me but also yeah sometimes I don't like that at lesbian bars like even when there's a bunch of gay men there there's a different energy and we've talked about this on the podcast of going to a space that's specifically for queer women yeah it's so comforting totally it's so nice to not be around men yeah and and <laughs> just clip that but it's like I am here <laughs> to not be around men yes and I don't see anything wrong with bringing your straight friends to a queer bar, but you then need to kind of be babysitting them in a sense. Like, yeah, you have to check them. Yeah, you vetted them and brought them. If they're acting up, and you're at a bar, people get tipsy and get dumb. drunk, get a little yeah. stupid, mouth off. But in my mind, the queer person is just 100 percent in the right in this situation because 
they are in this space that's supposed to feel safe for them, even if they misjudged the threat. Yeah. Even if they thought he was being grumpy and like he maybe couldn't hear her well. Yeah. And he, she was like, excuse me, are you waiting in line? And maybe he perceived her saying that as rude. And he was like, huh? Yeah. What? Like, I don't really care about the details. It's all semantics to me because it is a lesbian in this space that means so much to her. And we have so few, like you're in New York, walk out the door and there's a bar for straight people right across the street for you. Like it's, this space is created for lesbians and they are, they're so far and few in between and constantly closing down Mm -hmm. that it, it, it can ruin the night when you have these situations that I'm like, okay, I get it. He's there. But if I was the queer person that brought him, I would check him. I would, I would diffuse the situation and I wouldn't care like, oh, what, why are you being mean to him? Like, why are you mouthing off? I wouldn't ever, ever say that to a lesbian at a lesbian bar. I would just remove my straight male friend from the situation and be like, don't worry about it. But like, this is their space. This is not your space. Like you have to have a level of respect. And if it's not going, I'll just leave. Like you don't need to be there. And in the video, she's like, I don't think he'll ever want to go back there because it was just not worth the drama. It's that like, is that's kind of the point. We yeah. don't want like we don't want him there. It yeah. sh- you should never be causing drama when you're here. So I don't know. I'm just yeah. it's you don't need to be here and you don't need to get it and you don't need to defend yourself and then the more I thought about it I was just like icked out that the girl even made the video because I'm like what are you even asking us here like is it okay for your straight male friend to be here like it's not let's not say that's that's all it is no of course it's there's no laws against a straight man being at that bar but it was that it was like creating disrespect Hmm. and I don't know why they wouldn't if they if she's there with a queer woman why not just ask her be like hey what how do you feel about that? I'm like, why yeah, wasn't queer, she speaking up then? If like, the I, thing. It's it's weird. Like, isn't this the, this is, this is going to sound terrible. Wouldn't, isn't the person's fault then the queer woman who brought him into this space? I, I would love to hear from her and bring it up, but, but no, I think it's not like you can't control a whole nother person that it's first his fault. Like if you brought one of your guy friends and this altercation happened, I'd be first upset that they had any kind of altercation at the bar. Wait. And then it would be secondly your fault because yeah, it's you're bringing them into space. You've vetted them. And if they cause an issue, it's like you need to get them out. But, but it's not any like they're grown adults. It's not the other person's fault. Sorry, but can we back up and assume that no altercation was had? They were just there. Mm hmm. The idea that because that's that's but part that's of, not what this boils down. It's not oh you're just existing here. That's the problem. It's okay. not that. It's okay. not about just somebody existing. I think that but is I do like feel like that's what it is coming down to when people are talking about the problem, which is like oh you can't. I think people when they're talking about the problem, they're going just go to a different bar. They're they're no they're just going. It is not about the details of the situation. It's this is not your space. So if you don't feel comfortable you felt disrespect in the space you need to get out you need to go this is not your space like you have to respect it just like if I went into someone's home Mm -hmm. and I made the owner of the home didn't like me for whatever reason that's on me to leave I don't Mm -hmm. care how they're being I don't care if they misinterpreted something I said or did that is on me because I have to respect their place you know what I mean I, and that's that's what this means to people like for I for people like this it's like, as sacred as like a church as their home yeah this is their safe space and I think why the girl who got who made the video in the first place doesn't get it is because she's never needed that like of course you're not gonna understand it you don't have to feel uncomfortable at a bar like you don't feel entitled to that space because bars are not places we typically feel entitled to owning but it's so much bigger than that and I think Hmm. That level of disconnect, it's going to be really hard for people to get it who just won't ever get it. It's like, this is so much more than just a bar to so many people. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, if you don't feel welcomed here, then you're probably not. Just leave. You don't need to feel welcomed here. You don't, I don't care that you don't feel welcomed at a lesbian bar as a cis straight male. I'm like not bothered by that. I'm, I think I see it a little differently. That's okay. I think that I don't if he came alone I completely that's weird mm. completely yeah that that's weird. so weird the fact I'm having a really hard time not putting myself in this situation I hear that. 
where so many of my friends are straight mm-hmm. and respectful. But that, it, this would never happen. But I, then, but it you is, know. But these things are crossing a line mm-hmm. where it's like, I don't. You being like, I don't. F- I feel <clears throat> like a straight person shouldn't be welcome at a. I didn't say that Sorry. they shouldn't be welcome. Shouldn't whatever you said. I don't care if a straight first person doesn't feel welcome yes. at a gay bar. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I I don't I don't care if they like, don't feel welcomed. I'm like that's that's fine. If <laughs> there's I, so many times I haven't felt welcomed in places with straight people and they don't care. It's not about if they you know care. I mean? It's about what's right and wrong. I think that's wrong that you didn't feel welcome going into those places. Yeah, I I I disagree. I don't. I don't care that they don't feel welcomed in that space. Not every space is meant for you. And because we've had to create a space, because in the general spaces, we don't feel safe and comfortable. It's like, I don't care. Like we've created this, we've cultivated this space so that we can have this, that if you don't feel like it's meant for you, it's because it's not meant for you. That's okay. Like you maybe don't feel welcomed and you feel out of place because it literally is not created for you. I get that. That doesn't, that's like walking into... A clothing shop that you don't like and or a clothing shop that isn't your style and being or a like, church that's not your religion and you're like I don't understand what you're saying like, sorry I, I don't get this it's like you would never do that you never disrespect it but you but would like respectfully saying. sit and we're, watch and be that's chill. what I mean when we're being when I'm saying we're con- we're convoluting two conversations mm. one conversation is if someone that is in a space that is not designed for them mm-hmm. is causing a problem mm-hmm. I have no problem with them being kicked out being not allowed back mm-hmm. being whatever of course i'm like that makes I, no he wasn't sense kicked to me. out whatever yeah there was an altercation yeah whatever if i'm a catholic and i go to a jewish synagogue i find it very weird that the presence of someone that the place wasn't built for that it would be okay if they feel uncomfortable I think uh, I could be wrong, but I, I think in churches, there are certain churches that you're not supposed to go to if you're not part of that religion, like but you aren't allowed to go in them. I get that. You know what I mean? I, I don't know if that's hundred percent correct, I but think I'm like Mormon churches. You, like, I'm pretty sure you're in. not supposed, it's like disrespectful to go in them if you aren't. Yeah. I mean, now I guess we're saying that. that these bars are churches, which to so many to people, so, it's, it, it's, it's bigger so than that, people, it is. you know, yeah. and it is, I think that's what, that's why this is so hard to compare yeah. to some people because they're like, it's a bar, man. This is great for everyone. It's like not in this situation, just go somewhere else. Yeah. I and I have a hard time imagining that he's just stood there minding his business, not doing anything. And someone just unprovoked had an issue with him. I have a hard time believing that that's the case. Like yeah. I'm inclined to believe that at least something happened even if it was a complete misunderstanding there was something had but even if it wasn't I'm like that's okay because maybe you had a bad experience like there's there's so many details of this maybe she was there one time and there was a straight guy and had a really scary experience with that I've been at bars where a straight guy will wait outside the bar to try to follow me so when I'm at a that is unequivocally wrong and weird of course so if I then am at the space where it's supposed to be my safe space and I see somebody and it reminds me of that situation I might, I might be like, hey, man, who are you here with? I could see that happening. And be, and I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, well, I'll do it again. I just don't think there's any reason to do it with attitude or do it with like. But that's the thing. It's like, I feel like so many times women are told like, just be nice. Like, you don't need to be rude to guys. Like, just be nice. It's like, sometimes we have to default that they are bad, scary, dangerous. Like, I don't think it's a problem sometimes to stand up for yourself and to be a little bit rude. Sometimes you have to be like, I've had so many times where I try to diffuse a situation with a man and be so kind about it. And that only makes it more dangerous for me. I'm not saying if I'm not saying if you feel weird, you shouldn't be able to stand up for yourself. I'm saying, I don't think that the presence of a, but why Straight. do you keep going back to assuming that he was I feel like your default in this situation yeah. my default is that he must have been doing something a little soft sus there must have been something I'm separating and them. your default but when you keep sharing your opinion on the argument I when I share it I'm leaning he did something when you're sharing it you're leaning he he was just existing because I'm saying they're separate arguments 
Yeah, I know, but I'm saying you're only sharing that side. Because I, I fully agree with you on the first argument. Yeah, so you're saying I'm if saying, he's not doing anything, if he's not doing that, anything, should be that's fine. the thing I don't feel good about. I totally hear you, and, and I, I agree like on that. This but argument, the conversation around this argument, yeah, is becoming the second thing mm-hmm. instead of the first thing, mm-hmm. and that's what I find confusing because I'm like, Futch is Friday. Mm-hmm. Say we bring Kevin to Futch. Mm-hmm. If someone came up to Kevin at Futch a lesbian came up to Kevin at Futch and was like, what are you doing here mm-hmm. with attitude? And mm-hmm. like, and he's just there. Mm-hmm. I would find it very hard for me to be like, Hey Kev, I'm sorry. You got to go. I, uh, they, they don't want you here. Would I, you, would you f- feel that would be easy? Um, yeah, I think I would, I think I would not even test the situation. I would be like, you know what? This is being perceived as something yeah I wouldn't care about the reality of the context I would think someone thought he was doing something inappropriate maybe I'd pull that person aside and be like oh my gosh are you okay like yeah I, I would maybe talk to them and be like is everything all right did anything happen like and if they were like yeah he did blah 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 and it wasn't true maybe I would try to diffuse the situation and calm like she's saying they attacked her and were like that's so messed up that he can't be here and then if there was clearly that wasn't being solved, I can't fix the miscommunication. Yeah. I'd be like, Kevin, we got to go. Like this is, we have to, I, w- I would leave with him. I wouldn't be like, yeah. you got to get out. Sorry, this isn't for you. I would just be like, hey, we got to, let's go. Like, I don't want to taint this place for people who need it. That if they had a bad I situation, no matter what the guys they saw it under was, let's just leave. I would try to fix it because I wouldn't want them to leave thinking there was anything negative happen for either parties involved. So I think I would very calmly be like, go to the person who was uncomfortable with Kevin being there and be like, is everything all right? Like what happened? I'd want to hear them out first. I think that's a fair way to handle it. And that's not what sounds like happened in this situation. They like jumped at her instead of assuming like he made her uncomfortable. They're like, what What are you doing? Wait, sorry. Again, I'm not the situation I just explained is not that situation at all. Yeah. In that situation, it sounds like he was being a douche. Yeah. I'm saying if Kevin is standing there. You're saying generally straight us, people at bars. Yes. At gay bars. Not going alone. Yeah. Not showing up in a straight couple being like, we want to go to this par. It sounds so cool. I yeah. get why that isn't cool. Totally. I'm saying if. They've been vetted. They're Kevin with has a bunch of other lesbian queer. friends. Mm-hmm. And we all say, come to foot with us. You're yeah. so fun. Yeah. The difference though is in this hypothetical argument is this would never happen with Kevin because we know he's respectful. We know if he was at the bathroom and someone gave him full attitude, he would not come at them. He'd be like, oh my God, I'm so like, he would be so kind and yeah. so gentle with them. But that, Because but, those are the kind of people, those are the kind of straight yeah. men that you surround yourself with. But I'm saying, imagine that is the case. Imagine this is about someone Kevin. just yeah. says you can't be here mm-hmm. this wasn't made for you then you know what our straight female friend who was there would never then go on tiktok and make this totally. ignorant video totally. we'd have a conversation with them we'd that's yeah. that's what i mean when i'm like boiling this down we can talk about theoretical situations and hypothetical situations left and right etc but the fact this trajectory of the situation would never happen yeah in this per- like we are personalizing it because we've brought in our straight guy friends to bars with us to lesbian bars but this has never happened and it would never happen and if it did at any point it would stop unfolding in the sense because we would handle it and we would have these conversations yeah. it would never turn into somebody making tiktok being like what can it's i'm sorry is there a law i get that again i know they're separate situations i'm just it's very hard for me to not personal not it. personalize it mm-hmm. because i have done this mm-hmm. but i'm also completely open to and i assume peepees or friends that listen are gonna be like taryn that's some sort of privilege that you feel that you what like I can imagine this being something that I just don't quite understand and I'm open to understanding that like it's a it, like I don't just because I feel safe mm-hmm. around men doesn't mean everyone but does. you do, but that's and the thing that, that's I think like that's sharing a, a context that doesn't make sense because you're the one when we first went to Fudge was saying like that was so safe I, I like we didn't even realize how uncomfortable we felt at other bars until yeah. you get to have that experience so I don't think that that's tr- true I don't think that you always do feel safe and I think there is a time where if there was a random straight person at these 
gay bars that we go to, you'd be like, ooh, don't like, they're, they're creeping me out. Like, I don't think that that's true. I think it's just. I guess I just really trust the community to be a strong, good vet community. Yeah. I'm like, I trust the girls so hard. Yeah. That if the guy is in here, which in Futch, there's guys that go all the time. You yeah. don't know. I don't think you should test to yeah. make sure and that they're Yeah, and Futch isn't or... just like a straight lesbian party. It is just a queer event. So it's very, it's way more. Yes. It's not just a space for lesbians too. So yeah. I think that's a little bit different as well. True. Anyway, I'm open to learning if anyone has like a, a thought towards my thoughts, but I feel because I think most arguments I've heard are in line with yours, mm-hmm. which I totally understand. And I'm not trying to like argue for the sake of arguing or like be devil's advocate or anything. Mm-hmm. I just genuinely think there are two such situations, one of which I completely agree, which is what happened in this story. I get what happened and I totally understand, but I mm-hmm. am like just having a hard time not dumbing it down to the situation of what if I brought a straight friend to a lesbian bar and they were just standing there. Can someone be mad at them for that? Yeah. And I just don't even think that that's the topic of this situation. Yeah. I you know, know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like it's like, it's almost dumbing it down too much where it's like, what the, it's like when you take a very heavy topic and then you try to boil it down, you're like, that's not even the situation we're talking about here. That's you know fair. what I mean? That's fair. It's like, that's just arguing a different hypothetical situation because you can't argue this situation. You know what I mean? It's I like, that. let me back up this non-existent situation that could happen that I can't argue because we can't argue what actually happened here because that was wrong. You know what I mean? I get that. My nightmare situation is that what I'm doing is like an all lives matter thing. Am I doing that? Um, I think that's an intense comparison. But you know but what I But I think mean? kind of that that context. Yeah, that's not what I want you know? to be saying. And I, but I think nor it's, is it what it's I really believe. easy to fall into that when you don't when you when you don't think bigot thoughts or negative thoughts or homophobic or racist, whatever it may be, when you don't feel that inherently. However, our society and how we have learned have threaded those things in it. That's like mm-hmm. you have to become, if we're going to take it to race, you have to become anti-racist because yeah. just existing and not feeling like you're racist is not enough. Agreed. That can be the same thing in this where it's like, it. you might mean well with that thought. Like I have heard some well-intentioned people lean into the whole all, all lives matter thing and I'm like oh you're just missing the mark here yeah and it's it's and I think also more pertinent pertinent right now with trans women in sports people will throw in a separate argument yeah to argue the thing that they can't actually argue yeah there's and, and we all do it. we're trying to relate it to ourselves because the best yeah. way to argue is finding where we are emotional with it, where we can understand it. And I think you get really hung up on this specific topic because where you're emotional and you relate to is you have felt so lucky to have this group of straight cis friends, guy mm-hmm. friends, who you get to bring into your space and they respect it and and they understand you more and they understand queer people in general more. Mm-hmm. Because And you're really good at that. Even when we were talking about who to invite to our wedding, you wanting to show people who don't see queer love all the time. You wanted them to get to see that. You wanted, even if they had little thoughts of, I don't know if I agree with this, where I was like, I don't fucking want them at my wedding. Like you have, you are really open to I don't want to exclude people from this because how will they understand me? How will they get it if they don't get to see it, if we don't invite them into this space? So I think you're just keeping it really personal. And as am I, because I have felt uncomfortable Mm -hmm. with straight men at lesbian bars, I am inclined to be like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. You don't need to be here. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're the nicest fucking person in the world. Mm -hmm. If me or anyone in my community doesn't want you here, go. Yeah. And I'm taking it personally too. I think that you're just seeing it from a very specific lens. And that lens is yeah. not wrong. And that lens is not putting anyone down. But I just, I think it's, yeah, it's kind of dumbing down yeah. a bigger thing. I think that I'm realizing that 
I'm not trying to say they should feel com. I, I, I might have actually said these words and they're not what I mean, but that like, oh, anyone should be able to feel comfortable anywhere and every space is for everyone and mm-hmm. whatever. I totally understand that that is not the case. Mm-hmm. It's more that I have done that and my I didn't I don't want my intentions to be skewed where I'm like Kevin can come and it's fine or Tyler can come and it's fine like whatever bring all your straight friends like that's not the case it's literally mm-hmm. me trying to share a joy that I'm having totally and that ev- no one is arguing that I think I know but when you're I, seeing the videos where they're like yeah he's supposed to not feel safe get out of here is not necessarily the case it's that like, that's what I'm reacting to I just I don't that. like that feeling well of you're like, like why are we fighting hate and fear with more hate and fear like why are we saying like I'm just like what it's why is so, this more separated it feels so much like extra exclusionary yeah but I understand that this is like a the the point of a lesbian bar at all is mm-hmm. rebelling against yeah a lot it's yeah. like well this is our space yeah we finally have a space for ourselves like why would you come in it totally i, I think know. the short I answer fuck. i don't believe the, the all lives <laughs> matter stuff or whatever I'm no but i think like, that was like an interesting comparison of finding something that you can be like that. wait a minute yeah this is sounding like these arguments that i've heard on something <sighs> else and i think that's really great and really powerful that you're able to think that and get there and i'm it is hard. The short answer, God, feel like the short answer, canceled. you're not, babe. Like the short answer of this is, yeah, this space isn't for him. Yes, he shouldn't be here. Yeah, Go. It's not for him. But it's not a short answer. There are long answers here and it context does matter. Yeah. And circum- it's very circumstantial. And yeah. no, whenever, no one's going like, oh my God, I cannot believe Taryn brings her straight friend to a queer space. She's so messed up. No one's thinking that. No, I know. But if you were then seeing Kevin have an issue and being like, nope, Kevin was in the right. That would be a problem because it's like that. I totally understand. Yeah. I think yeah. you you were adding so much personal connection to it. Yes, I was. Instead of seeing the like short side of like, sorry, dude. Yeah, you are wrong. If if yeah. you're making this person like she's been going here for eight years. This yeah, space if, is if so you're important to her. Dick, sure. Get out. Yeah. Just go. <laughs> you okay? No, that was mm-hmm. a lot. I think that was great. You know, sometimes when you just critically think for too long. Yeah. But it's, I love when you get to that wall where you're like, I feel like a little wind up tool toy and you're just like charging into a wall because you're like, this is what I believe. This is what I believe. Nope, nope, nope. I, I, I just can't get, I can't yeah. get it. And then someone like turns you around and you're like free to move and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. I missed this whole picture of this thing that I wasn't seeing because I was tunnel vision on this one point yeah. or this one situation or this one personal anecdote and now I can see the whole picture and oh yeah this I get that yeah I think that like I love those little breakthrough moments I think it's so fun to be like hmm maybe I don't just think that I liked having that conversation with you and I I knew when I saw this come up Mm -hmm. that you weren't gonna have that knee-jerk reaction of like yeah get the fuck out and I was excited to hear your thoughts on it yeah and to like process that together. And that's why like I value that about our relationship so much that we have these different thoughts yeah. that to, they're actually not that different. It's just like we are just seeing them from we're like looking yeah. at the same thing and we're we agreeing. Would, we would do the same thing in the situation. Yeah. It's yeah. just that I'm like. Well, we all have different experiences in life. First and you're running around out here first. Yeah. And like come to the middle and find the same thing. And we all do that. And it's like being able to have these conversations instead of just like jumping down each other's throats yeah is so important and so helpful yeah and yeah i just think i just think it's good Ooh, this is a long epi but should we do our uh story no, for the day that for ep 50 no it's so good oh i think God, i, I think we saved the story we have a uh, first cousin sex story a real one a real this one. is not about taryn and her fake Sorry, cousin don't Bobby. Mean don't don't mean to call him fake. fake. Uh, this is not about Taryn and cousin Bobby. This is fully a real story. The PPs need help, and I'm so bummed that we're not going to share it. But we have been talking about straight people in bars for <laughs> an hour. So <laughs> I need to take a nap. Yeah. Um, and we have big plans for Epi Fifty. So, big, which is next Epi. Plans. So it's, I can't believe it, we have almost done fifty episodes. And That's also crazy. Only, it's only right that we save that great of a story for episode. yeah you're right you're right you're right we gotta kick it off with a, a cousin bang i'm exhausted 
I can see it in your eyes. I'm oh, sorry. Exhausted. No, that that was like, you know, when you just like think about something you kind of haven't really thought about. And then yeah. you're like, oh, that just got me. Yeah. It opens up too many yeah, uh, synapses in your brain. Yeah. I'm like, where did all that go to? And I'm kind of hungry. I'm sure. And I got my blood taken this morning. Oh, this is all honey, making sense. Have you eaten anything? Did yeah, bag? I had my little bagel. Oh, good. Good girl. It's like, um, what is it? Is it in Trainwreck? What movie where she's like, oh. I'm so I'm so faint. I just haven't eaten much today. Did you have breakfast? Yeah, I had a bagel and some eggs, and some avocado, <laughs> yeah. and oh, it's almost lunch. Did you eat anything? Yeah, I had a granola bar <laughs> and a sub and some soup. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, I'm so weak. Can we go to dinner tonight, uh, or probably not. I want. I almost said absolutely, but we're also supposed to go to out to dinner tomorrow night, and then I bet we'll go out on Friday night. Too. Well, Sim did say, "Do you guys want to cook before Fudge?" Which I thought could be really fun too. We could like make a little dinner and then go. You hate that? Okay, we'll talk about. We'll well, talk no, about no, 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 no. So I was thinking about tonight. Still, I hear you. We'll figure out our plans later. We'll let you guys know next week on episode fifty what we ended up doing. Did did they go out to eat? Did they eat? In? Did they order? <laughs> and what is the cousin sex story? And did Taryn get canceled for? accidentally walking Support. herself in Taryn supports straight people more than she supports queer people. That's so not true. <laughs> uh-huh. That's what I'm going to title this episode. No, this is going to get Is Taryn homophobic? <laughs> yes. I'm too weak for this. Listen, I can attest she's not homophobic. Uh-huh. That bitch is gay. <laughs> I'm going to be homophobic. My bitch is gay. I love you. Mm. My little come, homophobe. Come lay with me. Turn this off. Okay. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Happy staying up. <laughs>